love the Thailand heat. So happy I moved here. So I was laughed at for 45 minutes straight. 45 minutes, just laughing away, just, oh yeah, you having fun? It was one of the most awkward situations of my life. I'm questioning, I'm wondering why I can't speak any English. They're laughing at me in Thai. Even the laughs are in Thai. <laughs> It's not racist if you smile while you say racist things. So I want to tell you all about this experience and just the revelation that I came to and I think it'll help you in your life. So I was starting to look like a Wolfman Bigfoot hybrid offspring and I needed a haircut. I was looking nappy. I was a nappy bastard child. And I was just like, I gotta go somewhere. And every time I've gotten a haircut here in Thailand, I went to a different place each time. First time Brett took me to this pay place, they pampered me. They were just like, they washed the hair, cut it, styled it, washed it. Not in that order. Why would they style it then wash it? They wouldn't. I was like, okay, that's Brett's life. That's how Brett does it here. He lives the high life. And so then I went off on my own. I got another one and I was like, okay. That's why he doesn't just choose random places here. They gave me a mohawk, but it was a weird angle. Made me look like a criminal. I don't mind. I asked for a mohawk. They made me look like Elvis. I look like Elvis. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I was going for a walk near my house and I saw this barber. It was a woman and her two woman friends. And I was like, that looks like a friendly place. I needed the haircut. And they were just cracking open some lychees, lychees. And they're eating fruit. I'm like, this is great. Do you cut hair? And we're miming to each other. So we agreed. Let's do it. So this haircut was a hundred baht, and that's four dollars in Canada. And I was just thinking, if I was in Toronto, and I saw a place offering haircuts for four dollars, I wouldn't expect very much. I'd be happy if they didn't cut me. Like, I'd be happy if I left the place not bleeding with bandages on my ears. I've seen that. My mom was cutting my friend's hair once. <laughs> And she like snipped his ear and he's bleeding. I'm just like, sorry, bro. I thought she was good. So I'll sit down in the chair. She puts the little curtain thing on me, the little robe. And they're talking to each other in Thai. And I'm like, damn it. White have been here too long. He didn't study enough Thai. That's my fault. It's on me. I should have done it. I started in my early days, I was learning like crazy, and then it got too confusing at some point, and then I forgot everything. My sap crap. Pom put pasa tai nit noi crap. But babe my koi di tao lai crap. So I look like a freak. Like my hair is just, it's wild. All the sides are sticking out. Not that I look amazing right now, but it was much worse. And I felt like a werewolf. And I, they're laughing. They're laughing at me, it felt like. And so I'm like, <laughs> just laughing along like, I look stupid. I know, I know. So I told them to shave my head this time. Usually I get the mohawk, but I just wanted to shave it for that video, my hair loss video. And you can order the hair loss product using code coupon code. You're a sellout. <laughs> You buy my damn shampoo and you tell all your friends. You use that code, 10% off. I stand by it, I still use it, it's herbs. I like it. So I wanted to shave my head for the hair loss comparison video that we did. And I, I know I don't look good with a shaved head. I hate doing it, I know. I look like an idiot, like I don't have the head for it. There's so many people that shave their heads and it just, they look so good. It's like, oh, look at you. 
You got the perfect head, perfect body, just shave it all the time, who cares? But me, no. My head's too big or too small, I don't remember which one. My arms are too short. I don't know, something's wrong with my body and I can't do the shaved head. And even, I know it, people in my life have told me every time I shaved my head at home, my mom would be like, oh, yeah, whoa. <laughs> it's never like a, oh, look at you. Where'd you pay to get that done? It's like, I fell on razor blades. Like, I look like shit. Even my girlfriend would be like, oh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. She's nice. She was nice to me. She liked the feel of it. It feels good when you rub the head. She liked that. But I look like a sloth. So she starts shaving my head. And they start laughing. An increase in laughter was felt. I felt the increase. And now I'm starting to get self-conscious because I already know that I'm not at my best with a shaved head. And it's getting there now. I got half my head shaved. And they're seeing it now. The inner demons are revealing themselves. And I'm getting self-conscious as shit because they're laughing and I don't know what they're saying. They're just laughing at each other. The woman cutting my hair, she's taking breaks because she's laughing so hard. It's like, are you trying to make me look weird in front of your friends? What are you doing to me? Why are you doing this? So the whole time I'm getting this haircut, I'm just thinking I'm ugly. I'm ugly. They can see it. They're laughing at me. They're laughing at my ugliness. Just like I was in high school. Couldn't be myself. I was afraid. Couldn't walk by anybody just being myself. It's a prison in my own mind. So I'm having flashbacks to when I'm 14, the most self-conscious I've ever been in high school. Just walking past classroom, you have no idea the levels of self consciousity that were displayed in my brain. Like when I would walk by a classroom and they could see me, I'm just going for a walk in the hall, just taking a break from class. And I had these moles and I was just so self-conscious of them. And every time I would walk past an open door, I'd be like, like trying to cover it like this, walking by. Oh good, they didn't see the moles. I look cool like this though, right? Does this look good? And even in class, I'd be sitting, I'd always want to sit to the right side of the room. This took over my life for a good five years in high school. And so, okay, my moles are to the wall. Moles to the wall, that was the rule. And if I wasn't, I was like, fuck, someone took my seat. My moles to the open world now. And I'd sit there like, there we go. Hmm? What's that? No, I'm just relaxing. What? What do you need? A pen? Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get you a pen. Yeah. Here. Nice to meet you. We'll talk later. So I'm in this hair shop. I'm bald as a bitch. I feel like a slime, a piece of slime dog. I just, I felt so stupid and they're laughing and I'm trying to laugh it off. Like, I know, it's not the greatest haircut, I know. I know I'm weird, I'm foreigner. You're not used to seeing us like this. There's a lot better looking men here from other countries, I'm sorry. And I'll leave, I'll pay double. <laughs> so she finishes, she did a really good job. She was very thorough, because I've cut my own hair and it's hard to get every patch. You gotta go over it, and she went over it. Took her like probably 45 minutes or something, but she did a really good job. And I was done, and I said, "Do de crap," which is just look good. And then she laughed, and she's like, "Yes." And then they were laughing. I'm like, "No, no, my do de crap." And then the barber says, "She likes you. She likes you." Flipped the switch. This whole time, I'm there thinking they're laughing at me because I'm so ugly, so hideous to even look at. They're flirting with me. 
That's what was really happening. They were flirting together. Oh, he's so handsome. <laughs> I doubt it was anything like that. But like, it was different. It's my mind that made it something that it wasn't because my inner lens saw the world in a different light. It's not accurate. They weren't making fun of me, but my high school mind, the self-conscious mind made it. So they were definitely making fun of me. We all see the world in a different lens from all the different things that have happened to us in our lives. They form how we, our belief systems. We just, we see the world differently. You get it. So that's how I saw it. They were making fun of me, laughing at me. Couldn't have been further from the truth. So you can probably use this. You probably go maybe out into a crowd. Sometimes I would go out and I would hear somebody laughing and I'd be like, are they laughing at me? Like, I still think that sometimes. I hear someone laughing like, at me, my nose. I remember sitting on a subway in Toronto once. It's late night, I'm going home. I forget from where, a friend's house or something. I'm sitting and there's a couple, a girl and a guy, and they're just talking about the people on the train. And I'm right there. Like I could l reach over and touch their knee. Like I was really close. I could hear everything. And they're like saying stuff. And then I hear them say, this guy's nose is too big for his face. And I was like, I'm right here. <laughs> I heard everything. Why do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I didn't actually say anything, but I was like, are you serious? I looked over at them. The girl, I've never seen this in my life. She was very beautiful with one giant ear. I've never seen an ear that big. And I saw it like just very beautiful with a giant ear one giant ear and i wanted to say something like my nose is too big my nose i'm the one with the feature so large it's like we criticize others for our own lacks that's what i've noticed in the old comment section down there below sometimes i see it i see it it's very revealing when y'all say something, it's like, oh, I just wait for a criticism and I know, oh, aren't they having a problem like that in their life? You revealed yourself. So I think that's it. I just wanted to tell the story. Our mind can make things so much worse. My God. Get out of that head of yours. You can change your belief system. It takes a while. Even though I'm pretty young still, I have some deep embedded beliefs like that one, self-conscious. Oh my God, I'm not good enough. You can override it though. Just keep, keep noticing it and changing it. <laughs> Why do I have to freak out? But you can override them. That's one of the six laws. The law of insertion. You insert your own beliefs and the first step is recognizing them. Oh, wow, I do have that belief. It's not true. Oh, it's hard to make money. How am I gonna do that? I only make $12 an hour. I'd have to work more hours, like, make it easy. I've always thought, no. I've struggled with the money one, and we'll end it on this. But money was so hard for me to make, and now I'm just thinking, no, it shouldn't be that hard. It should be easy. I shouldn't have to go stress myself out so much. It should be just doing what I love. Having fun and relaxing. And it's happening in my life. Thanks to y'all. Thanks to y'all. Thank you so much. But it shouldn't be so hard. Life shouldn't be so hard. We get too hard on ourselves. Don't be so hard on yourself. So I think we're done. We're done here for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down. If 
you pierced your nipples together and you hung a hamster from it. Seems like an unnecessary fashion accessory, but whatever. You do you. I ain't gonna judge you. If I did, you would know that that's my problem, not yours. So we're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.